Hey guys! Alright, so yeah, found Tiffany in the Goodwill bins. And I'm going to talk to you about why I think a lot of people overlooked it and why certain brand names you don't want to overlook anything from because they can be worth good money. Alright, let's start with the other stuff though. Two cork boards. Pick these up. These will be good for putting pins in, things like that. Plush, love plush, and then when you can pick it up for, it's $1.49 a pound at Airbnb's. This is one of the Wild Republic slap bracelet um, plush. So there was a Scrabble game, and I took the little towel holders because I can use these to display brooches when I do whatnot sales. And I got all the tiles because people will buy the tiles. And I may actually use them in my, for my own craft purposes. Who knows? And there was only two of these. But these were um, Home Interiors Kids. Little hooks. So there's the zebra. And there's the monkey. There probably should have been another one. But it wasn't there. This was interesting. This is where did I see the tag that says what it is? I guess there was a tag that said what it was, but you get this little goat, I'm guessing. And you get this guy praying. He's got hair stuck to him. <laughs> but and they're velcro y. I mean they have different spots that have velcro or hook and loop. So for some reason the goat was just stuck to the side of the guy. This weighed probably two ounces. Look at this Peter Pan. Couldn't find any markings when I was quickly looking over him at the Airbnbs. And here's the thing, in Airbnbs, there's no internet access. And I don't mean you can't just go outside and look something up. There's no internet access in the whole little like a mile radius so you just have to take a chance which is fun because it's the bins pick up this cute little purse nice vintage purse um looks really good there's no brand or anything but it just has a good look so i don't think i i'm not too worried about a brand it's made in china but it could still be from the 90s and it weighed nothing Iron on color, 14 gorgeous orchid designs, definitely vintage. Again, weighed nothing. Everything we bought was only $20. This is printed in the USA. I'm not seeing a date. But. But this little wooden box, again, doesn't weigh anything. Um. It says Turks and Caicos on the top of it, which I know it was more than likely, you know, a little souvenir thing. But I think that may clean off because it's written on top of the um, lacquer or whatever it is. <laughs> the stuff that seals it. Um, picked up this cute wallet. Again, it weighs nothing. So even if I just get a couple dollars from it, it's still good. Plus it's just cute. Like, it's got a suede feel to it. It's a nice green color. Probably put it on Poshmark. Now this I probably shouldn't have bought. is a brand new sealed sequence. But apparently they're not really worth anything. So, <laughs> um does have a small rip in the box right there, but it's sealed. Ooh, I'll put it on um, Poshmark because, you know, Poshmark, when it comes to heavier stuff, up to five pounds, people are only having to pay $7.95 shipping or something like that. So that's a good place to list your heavier items because people aren't having to pay like $20 to have it shipped. I got this because I thought I could mount it to the wall and hang necklaces off of it. Um, sell a lot of jewelry, so this will be really handy. 
six to eight appetizers from Moss Creek Plantation. This looked older and people love recipes and stuff. And it's just it's cute. Let's see what kind of recipes we got. We got crab canapes, caviar pie. I don't do caviar. I don't care how fancy it is. Cream cheese stuffed mushrooms, red onion raw spread, mushroom turnovers. Ooh, those sound good. So we'll see if there's any online and what you know see if anybody wants that got this little sink um mga entertainment so i don't know if it's like surprise lol surprise or what little toy line it is but it weighed nothing another item that weighed nothing was this cute little cat change purse and it's in great, excuse me, it's in great condition. And it's by uh, this hashtag Frenchie. So, I was like, worst comes to worst, it's a great whatnot giveaway item. Picked up this little alligator dude. All right, I'll show you the Tiffany. So, I just saw this laying there and I was like, well, I'm gonna look in and see if there's anything in it. Then I saw Tiffany and Co. And I was like, you know, okay, this has just been packaging for, or you know, a holder for a necklace or something. And I'm like, but it's Tiffany. It's gonna be worth something. So, and it doesn't weigh anything. I went ahead and grabbed it. Anywhere from fifty to seventy dollars. Yeah, does it good? <laughs> Always take those chances at the bins, people. Usually, it's worth it. And if it's not, how much did it cost? Less than two dollars. Um, the language of letting go, Melody Betty, the best-selling author of the language of letting go. These are little cards. They retailed for nineteen ninety-nine. Uh, we'll see. Well, first, I'll have to see if they're all in there. And yeah, go from there. <laughs> I've got a container of vintage corn dabby things, <laughs> corn holders. Um, there's yellow ones and there's these green ones. So I'll put those away till summertime. Nobody's probably gonna want those right now. Got this nice, simply Sarah's highly scented candles. It's got shells embedded into the candle. I was actually gonna put this as a giveaway item in my um, sea show that had like sea life and all that in it, and then I forgot. All right, last item before books. With this really, really pretty scarf. And of course, if you set this on the scale, I don't even know if it would pick up or register as anything. So, yay. I always pick up stuff like this. Even if you just sell it for $5. It's profit. And it's so easy to list. It's such beautiful colors. And I think... I don't know if I found a... Oh yeah, it's um, Ellen Tracy. So, like I said, even if it's five dollars, it's still profit. All right, so books. Picked up one of the um, series of unfortunate events. I have a whole bunch of these downstairs. I probably need to check and see if I've got a set. I always pick them up when I see them. Alfred Hitchcock presents stories to read with the door locked. And this is a first edition, but it's not worth anything. <laughs> but it's fine. I'll read it. This is something that really might actually be worth something. This is Settlers in Canada. 
a much older book and I was like worst comes to worst I can use this creating vignettes you know anytime you need red you know you can use books as risers and it's a good way to get your colors in there I learned that from the amazing Nicole Northgarden yeah <laughs> she's not a reseller but she has a shop but she doesn't consider herself like a reseller reseller she does it mostly as a hobby. I'm trying to do it as a little. <laughs> but she has the greatest tips. And there's not a date in here that I can find. But if you're ever in, I think she's in right outside of Minneapolis. Is that right? Yeah, she has a booth at the um, antique store called the Pink Elephant. So, if you're ever in that area, definitely go check it out. I know I would. I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm buying all of Nicole's stuff. <laughs> um, okay, the Pioneer Woman, come and get it. Um, truth be told, I may keep this. I'll have to make sure, you know, check and see if I have this one. And the books there are 89 cents a pound picked up the holy bible the last time i picked up a bible there we sold it for over a hundred dollars it was a really rare um 1980 something it was a study bible wasn't it yeah so got this bible And then the last thing is Taste of the Town, second serving. And History of the Charity League. So again, I pick up old cookbooks because sometimes they can really be worth some good money. This is from printed in Winston-Salem. Um, those of you who don't know, I live in North Carolina. Taste of the Town, second serving the Charity League of Lexington, North Carolina. Um, this is the, I guess, fifth printing, copyright 1986, and it talks about how many printings were sold of the first through fourth editions, or printings. And then, you know, it gives the history of the place, and then we've got recipes like vegetable soup, Carol Meats, Crab Meat, Supreme Bisque, Overnight Salad, Steak with Oyster Sauce. Um, dashed Potato Wedges, Crusty Topped Cauliflower. Oh, sorry, I hate cauliflower. It's like one of those top foods I don't want to eat. I don't want your dead ghost broccoli. <laughs> oh. Baked beans, pressed chicken, chicken puffs, pork chop and potato bake. A really good sauce book. That's it. Yes, Tiffany in the Goodwill bins. Don't overlook the smalls. Don't overlook things that you're like, oh, well, that's just packaging. Did you know you can sell bags from places like Coach? Like paper bags. So... Just be open-minded. And that is this haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you next time. Bye.